So since we just did the lecture on um, partition coefficients, let's try a problem using that. Um, I've just gone ahead and written down all the useful information that we'll be able to pull out of this problem, um, so we won't have to watch me do it on the video. But anyways, I'll read it to you. It says, consider the situation where 15.5 grams of caffeine is added to a mixture of 100 mils of water and 100 mils of chloroform. Since water and chloroform are essentially immiscible, two layers will form. Given that caffeine is soluble in both water and chloroform, 1.5 grams per 100 mils and 14.0 grams per 100 mils at 25 degrees Celsius respectively, it will be partitioned between the two layers. So, the question says, what is the value for the partition coefficient for caffeine when it's partitioned between water and chloroform at 25 degrees Celsius. So, um, remember what's happening here. So, well, let's draw our separatory funnel. So just to get a kind of picture of what we might see in the lab. I'm not the best artist, but whatever. So there's your separatory funnel. It's on a ring stand. And you got your Erlenmeyer flask here, whatever. I go to Erlenmeyer. Okay. But the important thing is here, so separatory funnel, when you put your water and your chloroform in, you're going to have two layers, and you'll see this rather distinctly. Um, so since chloroform is more dense, it'll be on the bottom. And then water is less dense, it'll be on the top. And what you'll find is if the, you took all the chloroform out and evaporated it off, you find some uh, amount of caffeine in there, and then you took all the water out, but it wouldn't be the total amount uh, that you put in, 15.5 grams. And you took all the water out, then you find the rest of it. Okay, so that's what's happening. It's partitioning in between the two layers, okay? So, um, what do we know about the partition coefficient, right? We know um, Kp equals the concentration of the solute and solvent 1, I mean solvent 2, divided by the concentration of the solute and solvent 1. But we also know it equals the solubility of the solute and solvent 2 divided by the solubility and solvent 1. Okay. So, in this case, the solute is caffeine, right? So, all we really got to do is take these two solubilities and divide one over the other. So, um, solvent 2, in this case, we'll use as um, uh, chloroform. So, what will we say? We'll say 14.0 grams divided by 100 mils, and then, and that's grams of caffeine, mils of uh, chloroform, 1.5 grams of caffeine divided by 100 mils of water, or solvent, okay? So, grams will cancel, and mils will cancel if we think it's mils of solvent, okay? And that'll give us Kp, which anyways is a unitless number. Okay, so all we've got to do now is, well, we can do this, right? 100 divided by 100 will cancel, and that'll give us 1. So 14 divided by 1.5 is 9.33. Okay, so that's the Kp for caffeine. Um, when you're 
doing the uh, partition between water and chloroform. Uh, remember in these uh, coefficients, you're always going to have numbers that are without units. So even if your units don't cancel here, which they will in all of these partition coefficient problems that I'm giving you, but even if they don't in um, coefficient questions, you're going to have no units. Okay? Try another one. 